Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Put you on here. I feel like it's been so long since I vlogged and I've got so much to catch you up on. <clears throat> I feel like so much has changed as well. Um, so much has changed in me, I think, since since everything happened. And um, I thought today we could have... Am I zoomed in? No, you just feel... Maybe my arms feel short. <laughs> you feel really close. Um, yeah, I thought today that we could have like a bit of a heart-to-heart, -heart, a little bit of a chat. And we could um, talk about all of the many changes that have happened in my life this weekend. I'm sorry. I've gone for browns and golds today with my makeup. What do we think? It's okay. It's okay. You're comfy. Yeah. You're comfy. Tuck those mittens away. Tuck them away, honey. Look at these patterns. Yes. Yes. It is some time later since I just showed you the last clip, even though I'm sat in the same place. Um, my dad came over with his um, with his good friend Trevor, who um, we've known since like we were babbers. So he's kind of like an uncle. Um, yeah, I've just written a blog post on like this whole thing as well. I think Adam's out the back training. Yes, he is. Uh, Toons is on the floor. And yeah, written a blog post all about changes. And I thought I really need to speak to you like in depth about this and just like really have a good catch up with you guys. Um, I know my last vlog was a catch up but this one is also a catch up because it's been <laughs> a little while but yeah an awful lot has changed and um, let's just start from the first change then shall we so um before you all sort of start guessing and wondering um our cycle our fertility cycle was an unsuccessful again um so i will be talking to the doctor about next steps at the end of sorry <laughs> just facing you down there um at the end of this month um obviously felt a little bit upset about it at uh, the start when we found out that it was um, unsuccessful but um, I'm looking I'm looking forwards to the next step now so just before just before we did the test to find out if it was successful or not um, I kind of knew in my body that it wasn't going to be I thought for like the first sort of like few days week I think I felt different like I I did when I was pregnant beforehand um, and I was like oh my gosh it's worked like I actually feel like it's worked but I won't say anything um, I won't let Adam know but then I woke up the one morning and just felt like everything everything had gone all of those feelings had gone and I felt normal um, so I kind of knew was hoping obviously still but kind of knew that it hadn't worked so I was preparing myself for the negative while still having a little bit of hope and um, I wrote down in my bullet journal which this thing is just like comes everywhere with me. This is like an amazing little book Ooh, which apparently has a bank card in it that flies out at you. Um, wish that had loads of money in it. That would be helpful about now with paying for things. Fertility treatment guys is expensive expensive okay um yeah so i in my journal wrote down a list of things that makes me happy and you can see this list over on my blog post that i've done which i will link in the description box below for you and it'll also be on my instagram as well i've done like 
a one of those things it's like a link in bio so you click on the link and it has lots of different um, links so you don't have to keep changing them all the time I thought that was quite handy yeah so my thinking behind that was if I'm having a day where I feel really naff and we get this negative and I need to think of something that will make me feel better what are some really simple things that will make me feel happy that will make me feel good so from this list then for example one of them is a hot drink so it makes me feel cozy it's kind of like the hygge kind of feeling I suppose so we we I wrote the list and thought I'm gonna refer to this now and I've kind of been referring to it every day thinking "Ooh, what else can I do to make me happy Ooh, what else can I try and just thinking that I'm getting these like happiness points <laughs> which nobody else is scoring me on any of this but um I just it just the things that I'm doing make me feel relaxed and make me feel happy and before I talk to you about some of the changes that we've made um I want to just also let you know something that I said about in the blog post that might work for you guys as well if you're female watching this because the majority of you I can see a female watching this um if during your cycle you have you notice a pattern so you notice a time when you're feeling quite energetic quite upbeat about things or creative and you notice repetitive times that you are uh, more sluggish or more tired then you could do what I've done so I've made myself a four week timetable which I feel I should show you okay <laughs> it's not working on what I've got up on um, but basically week one at the start of my cycle is after like my pain has subsided I feel sort of like positive for the month ahead I feel creative I feel happy and I think right okay this is the time then and I can do most of my content creation because I'm feeling inspired I'm feeling confident so I say confident lightly because you're literally just now even though I know there's like hello people <laughs> um, you're literally just a little camera in my hand there's nobody else around me um, which some people get confused by that and think that I'm like a really confident person because I do this but you are literally just a camera in my hands. <laughs> um, but I do obviously love talking to you guys, though. So you know that. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's what I've done, basically. And I have planned out that I will do lots of content creation during that first time. Then around week three, when my tissue is building up around my body, I get times, like, days when I am so so um like full of brain fog that I can't string a sentence together at all it's, oh, I, you know about this and um also there are a few days when I find it hard to physically move and I find it hard to even do things like raise my arms so during those times I planned to do nothing because I've come to realise that that is what my body needs and even if you don't have endometriosis, if you're just a woman <laughs> or even if you're a man watching this and you know that you will get some time within the next few weeks when you're going to be tired but actually you'll also have days when you'll be full of energy why don't you plan to do lots of things on those days when you've got loads of energy and then on the other days you don't feel so bad about not doing anything whereas in my case I know that I actually need and need the rest which is the same for anyone actually because if you're tired there's a reason that you're tired so um, that is how I've planned basically like my four weeks to have slower times and to have um, more energetic creative times so I have had my happiness list that I've made and my weekly timetable I'm yet to use my weekly timetable may I say because my monthly timetable because I had a break didn't I <laughs> so I can't feed back on that to you yet 
Um, however, there are so many things that have changed that I need to tell you about. Um, and they've been positive changes. And I know this is a crazy time still in the word world right now. Um, and I know that I'm very lucky. I know that you hear some of like the bad stuff, um, obviously about me, but for my health. But um, I feel lucky in so many other ways. And I know I don't have it bad um, in life like some other people do. So let's talk about the positive changes that maybe, maybe you guys, if you make a little happiness list, maybe you guys might make some positive changes for your lives too, whatever they may be. The very first thing that we have changed is our diet. So I know that I'm like extremely reactive to things and um, you know that I've been like in and out of like gluten free for a while but just because that is one of the things that I react to. So because I am so reactive I have now gone gluten free because like totally because I thought what is what's the point in having a time where I enjoy something and I should do that for enjoy and um, something for all of like five ten minutes and then I suffer immensely for it. What's, what is the actual point? The reason that you eat is to fuel your body and for taste. So if I can find tasty things that are gluten free, why wouldn't I just do that? So totally gluten free, which I'm quite proud of myself because sometimes I'd be like sneaking in a little bit of something. Um, and we are eating totally vegan as well so I'm really really proud of that Um that's been like a really long change coming hasn't it over the years and also I'm eating less meat substitutes day to day and more veg and one of the things that I was like thinking about is I because I'm thinking more about what is going into my body and then what goes into my body obviously shows on my skin and my hair um i was thinking right we do need to make sure that we're not putting like, pesticides and things like that in so the fruit and veg that we're getting is now organic so i find um online somebody i work with um steph used to talk about these and um it's called river fudge so i will i think they're just called like river fudge organics perhaps or just river fudge on instagram so i will link them and i will link their website for you below because we tried it basically and the food is so nice it's really you can just i don't know how they taste different and they taste better but they do um and like i have to show you in the fridge because like the sweet corn is like that's so crazy um yeah so really really pleased with that um i've also done a few intermittent fasts and i say a few i've literally done three of them but i've noticed a massive change when i was younger i and i'm not about like a teenager now um if i felt like oh my gosh like i feel really stodgy i feel like i've eaten so much recently i would literally just miss breakfast for the one morning and I felt like everything was kick-started again, my metabolism, and obviously it takes a long, long time. I'm not a teenager anymore, guys. Um, it takes a long time for my metabolism to kick in, shall we say. So I've done three intermittent fasts where I've not eaten anything after, say, 6pm, and then I haven't eaten my breakfast until 10am. And... Um, I think I felt the benefits of it. I haven't weighed myself or anything wanting to know that kind of change, but I definitely um, can feel it. I feel like I've got more energy and I feel like I've not got as much water weight. I don't know, I don't know. Um, and one of the things we hated about buying, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, one of the things we hated about buying all of our fruit and veg from supermarkets was nearly everything that we bought had plastic around it nearly everything where we live 
um, in like Asda, Ocado, everything comes in plastic. And we hated how much plastic we had. So basically, go with the Riverford Organics. And please don't play with my necklace, okay? I'll give you attention too, okay? Um, she's like a little babes right now. Can we just... What you doing, huh? You come and sit like a little babes. Have you? Mm -hmm. Um, what was I? Uh, yeah, so basically one of the good things about these boxes, the food boxes which I definitely need to film for you this week when they come, is they are, uh, I think the only thing that came in plastic was the spinach, the only thing. So I was pretty amazed by that and we watched the Zac Efron um documentary that's on netflix that i know quite a few people are going um on about at the moment because it's actually really good and we were like do you know what we really want to try and be a little bit better actually and stop buying as many things that just because they're recyclable that's what we would do before it's okay we can buy we can recycle this at home whereas now we're like let's not buy that let's wait until we get home and then make whatever for lunch or, or what have you or take making sure we've got a reusable cup in the car things like that we want to try and be a little bit more mindful and a little bit more sustainable we are majorly on like the start of that journey we don't know a lot about it at all i think going vegan for us was such a slow and i mean it only in like the food sense at the moment was so slow that this will be something else that we take slow but we take seriously um yeah so that's another thing that we have been doing and i've got a little list that i've written out here um my morning routine i know i say how many times do i say this but i know i feel so much better when i do it i'm just so not consistent with it and I harp on about the benefits to everyone, literally. You start me talking about morning routine and I must annoy people with me talking about it. But we started it and I love that Adam has started doing it as well. He started, we started getting up at six. We don't need to get up at six summer holidays. Adam's off for a little while from work as well, which is great. He's booked off. Um, but we both feel so much better when we're up we've exercised yes i'm exercising <laughs> um when i've showered i've got myself ready for the day and i've done the things that are hard in the morning and then i've got like the whole day like i'm ready and i've got the whole day then ahead of me um oh, it's just it feels so good and the things that i'm doing in the morning are things that i want to do i just can't be bothered on a normal day let's say it like that so things that make me feel good and it's so old but maybe I'll, I'll link my couple of my morning routine videos for you to see um, but yeah doing gratitude and aspirations exercise um, working towards goals those kind of things yeah they just make you feel good so um, a couple of things that I'm doing in the morning are um, shaving every day, <laughs> which I didn't used to do before because I've got dark hair. I hate, like, if you shave your legs, guys, and you've got dark hair, you understand my pain, okay? Um, I didn't used to do it every day because it's just a task, a task. However, I love having the, like, the feeling of, like, smooth skin. So I've been making sure that I've been exfoliating shaving and uh, moisturizing and if not moisturizing and tanning and I always feel better I say this I always feel better and I look better I look healthy when I've got a bit of color on me um yeah so that's something I've literally been doing it every day and I just feel like everything feels smooth and like I don't shave yet I don't know why I did that <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> um yeah just I just feel happier in my skin which is something to say for itself really isn't it and exercising 
Adam got me into running, so I need to show you my running trainers that he got me as like a pre-birthday present. Um, and I love it. I, I do really like it. It, it was, we got up this morning at six to go for a run and it was lashing it down. Like I like running in the rain, but not in that rain. That would have been like hard to breathe kind of rain. We had a little chat. We had a little heart to heart and said that actually we don't just want to be fit as in we can run a marathon because great if you can run a marathon I can't do that so amazing but that's only like one skill we want to be fit for life we want our bodies to be healthy so that they can live long lifestyles long healthy lifestyles and that we can continue to do the things that we are enjoying doing so when I think of it in that way instead of thinking oh I want to for example have a six pack so I, I don't want to have a six pack I, I'd like to be toned but I don't want to have a six pack um personal preference so instead of thinking oh I need to exercise because I want to look a certain way then it makes it not as not as achievable because after the first time you've worked out you don't see any changes do you so what what's made me enjoy exercise a bit more is thinking oh, I'm doing this today and this is going to make me continue doing the things that I'm enjoying doing in my life so yeah we really we we want to live long healthy lives if possible um, so yeah, I, we've been getting up, we've been going for some runs and also we have, um, like this morning I did a Pilates session which was really good, just with Boho Beautiful as well. I just love that Pilates session, it's just simple, I think it's like 21 minutes, it's great. Um, oh by the way, I can't run for the life of me at the moment, I used to be a sprinter when I was in my teenage years can't run for the life of me now um, but I'm trying and that's what counts what else so I've talked about skincare and in another video I'm definitely going to show you what I've been using on my face because I mean, they don't don't be like this is highlight okay <laughs> we we know that's just not a normal healthy glow they don't be fooled that's highlight however my skin is really like healthy and I don't have any little bumps under the skin like um when I used to use my skin care before I would have like tiny little like under the skin bumps um which I was like it's fine I've got spots I've just got some bumps there but this now I don't have this and my hair as well my hair kind of used to be like an afterthought even though I would use things that I thought were good on it I feel like it's grown loads what do you think I feel like it's grown loads um, but I've been using like this like massage tool thing when I'm washing my hair. Um, I feel like maybe I should do like a whole hair care video as well because I feel like that's updated. But I did a um, a podcast. I did a podcast on hair care. So if you're looking for how to grow healthy hair, I'll link you to the podcast. But one of these things I have to share with you is using silk so I don't have any in front of me do I um you definitely 100% need to get onto the napco and I'm pretty sure the website is just the napco.com and that's their Instagram as well the napco and their pajamas are just so nice but I've got a new silk pillowcase I've got new hair scrunchies which it's like a no-brainer isn't it if you put silk on your hair it's not gonna like rub up and down like a normal bobble would um so it's just doing wonders absolute wonders for my hair it really really is i can't like stress that enough um if you've got 12 pounds to spend on a little scrunchie you need to do it because that's going to change change your life and finally like the rest of the nation and probably the rest of the world we have been gardening and we have been cooking and here is the man himself 
walking upstairs, my little gardener hubby. It's like a slain hoodie. <laughs> How was your workout? Was it okay? Yeah, it's just that it raining. Oh, has it? A good, good time in then for you to do your workout, wasn't it? It's really good. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, considering I used to say that I would kill everything plants wise and that I couldn't cook anything, we're now baking in the Thermomix, may I add. Helps a lot. And we're now gardening. And I know I showed you, did I show you the garden in the last video? I know I put it on Instagram stories. Um, but I cannot get over how, how big the vegetables have grown in the back garden. So I need, need to show you them. Um, and we're hoping to build like a little trellis planter thing for some roses as well. 